Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I am reviewing another piece from Polish company Samanta. So today I have the claret bra in the model number A111 which was another gift from the fabulous Sweet Nothings. And I wanted to separate the reviews rather than do them together because this one is a totally different model number. Now if you saw the review I did of the A925, you'll recall that Samanta uses a numbering system to represent the different bra frames they use. So in a given collection, they may have three or four bras and then two or three pairs of panties, and they use their consistent modeling model number system to let you know exactly what frame those bras in the collection were built on. It's a very ingenious, very simple way of doing things. Um, the model numbers do get a little bit confusing, I think, because you are looking at like all these numbers strung together, and there is some overlap. So for example, this one is the A111, but it also overlaps very much with the A211. So that, I think, is a little bit confusing, um, particularly if you're not as familiar with Samanta but we will be doing our best in the written reviews to kind of make sure that you understand exactly how the Samanta sizing system works. So definitely check those out if you haven't done so already. So back to this bra. This is, as I mentioned, the A111, and it is a really nice non-padded bra. I have this on in size 70K, which is roughly equivalent to the UK 32H that I am currently wearing. This bra has been worn a little bit, um, but it still seems like it's in pretty good condition, so I'm going to say that it runs fairly true to size. The band may run a little bit tighter. Um, again, hard to tell when you're, you're reviewing a used bra to know exactly how much wear has been put on it. But overall, I would say it's very close to what UK sizing was running. So I love Comexum bras. If you have seen any of my other videos, you'll know this. But sometimes it's nice to have an unpadded bra. Um, I used to wear these all the time, and it's really nice to have this one now because it's very lightweight, it's very soft, it's very simple. So the 70K slash 32H fits very comfortably on the loosest set of hooks, and I don't have any gaping or overflow issues with the cup. In fact, I'm filling out the cup completely, which is really nice. Unlike the 925, which did a bit of a soft tack towards the top, the uh, A111 is fully tacking. Now, I also mentioned in the A925 review that the Polish companies don't always put the same emphasis on a hard tack that the UK companies do. So that's not necessarily a design flaw. It's actually just something that they, as a manufacturing uh, culture, don't put that same kind of emphasis on. So. I don't know how people feel about that. Some people I find really have a hard time with a hard tack because it presses uh, painfully. Um, other people really, really like to have that firmness, so it is something to consider. Now, as I mentioned, with this particular bra, I'm definitely getting that full, normal UK tack. So that also may be, when you're looking at the model numbers, it might be better to do one of the unpadded, like this one, rather than going with the partially semi-soft bra like the A925. So the shape on this is really nice. The underwires are pretty narrow here. There's definitely depth at the cup, which is good. I need that with my very center heavy uh, tissue. I don't have a lot of breast tissue on the side. So sometimes underwires extend too far back and create issues, particularly here along the cup. This one has a very nice underwire stop. It's slightly wide, right about towards the top. But again, it's one of those things where, to me, it's a little bit more of a fit quibble. The only company I've ever found that had underwires exactly where I needed them was Comexum. Um, and I do love Comexum bras very much, but it is nice to have some different stuff. Uh, this is really comfortable. One of my deal breakers whenever I'm reviewing a bra is I don't like it if it feels like it's rubbing here. This is a very important thing for me. I probably scoop, swoop, and do all kinds of manner with my arms a million times a day at the store, so I really need to be able to move in my bra and not feel like it's, it's hurting me in any way or rubbing. And this bra is extremely comfortable. The uh, fabric on this is really soft too. The lower cup is totally smooth, so it doesn't have any kind of abrasive textures. The wings are really smooth, and even this embroidery here at the top is not very itchy or scratchy. This is actually kind of more of like a floral, so a little bit more traditional. And then you have your smooth lower cup as contrast. You have a little bit of this texture on the straps, which I think is nice. These are more fully adjustable than the uh, A925 that I reviewed, so if you need that, this one, again, might be a better model number to check out. 
Like the A925, it also only has two open eye closures in the back, but I don't feel like this is as much of a problem. The bras seem very well anchored to the body, and I like that element of them. This one may be a little bit less so than the A925, but again, I feel like this is just one of those very lightweight bras. It doesn't actually have side stays either, so I mentioned in that review that some people have a very strong feeling about side stays. I like them. Um, I don't have to have them, but I do like them. Other people hate side stays. I get comments that they've cut them out all the time <laughs> of their bra. So again, kind of a different shape than the original bra I reviewed. It might be better suited for some people who are looking for that non-padded, heavier tack, a little bit more coverage style. Uh, overall, really, really nice. The red is a beautiful color. And I mentioned earlier this is also the 211 model. So particularly with upcoming collections, it's good to know that if you liked this one, you can also look at the 211. Um, it's also, I think, the bra that they say covers like 80% of breast tissue, so it does have a nice coverage level. Overall, I really can't say enough positive things about it. It was really great of Sweet Nothings to send the sample to me because it actually encouraged me to bring the company into the store. It's really exciting to see these Polish companies sending you know, bras over here now to the US because I think they offer a little bit of a uniqueness to them. There's a lot of very thoughtful touches in Polish bras. Sometimes I feel like certain UK companies rest on their laurels a bit and just kind of keep recycling or repeating. And I like that with Polish companies, they found a way to kind of be a little bit unique. They don't have to do the same thing every season. Uh, Samantha even sews this like great little Samantha thing onto the sides of their bras. I mean, it's just really nice, thoughtful details. So overall, I could not be more pleased. I really like this one. It's very comfortable. Again, big, big, big thanks to Sweet Nothings. Please follow her blog because she's awesome. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our blog, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest for all the latest news and information. And thanks for watching.